So my Tyranid video has received enough positive feedback for me to confidently move forward and continue the series. Again guys, the channel is here for you. I take all requests seriously and I'm happy to try things, but I will say this, you guys are in control. If you don't watch them, I can't justify spending hours on a video again on that topic. That being said, Let's get right into the Norn Queen. I covered this in my overview of the Tyranid as a species, but today let's get into the details of what exactly a Norn Queen's function is within the Hive Fleet. Norn Queens first and foremost are sometimes referred to as a splicer beast, and they are one of the most intelligent bioforms within the Tyranid Hive Fleet. They act as the highest chain of command within their fleet and are responsible for leading the swarm and the next steps in evolution they take. Upon detecting a biosphere or as they adapt to one they have already infiltrated. The way in which they decide the evolutionary path of the swarm for any given planet is by using the Alpha Swarm. They send this swarm of bioforms to the planet, which then begin relaying information back to the Norn Queen. Environmental factors are considered, and of course, how best to combat the inhabitants of the planet. The Alpha Swarm are linked so closely to the Norn Queen that if you were to capture one, it can lead to a neurotoxin being released, directly affecting the Norn Queen herself and leading to death. Once a Norn Queen is killed, the effect is incredibly intense, though short-lived. The Tyranid bioforms, now no longer linked to the Hive Mind, will cannibalise and lash out at anything and everything, until the Hive ships create many new Norn Queens in her place. As the Tyranids are an organism in their own right, with a mass psychic link connecting them and their ships, this is a pure instinctive mechanism, which is often catastrophic to the universe, as the creation of many more Norn Queens leads to the Hive ships splitting from one another and creating many new Hive fleets. This is known as the Hydra effect. Cut off the head of one, many take its place. As mentioned in my previous video, they reside within the largest and most heavily fortified ship in the fleet, their safety and protection being paramount. As they sit in their large chambers, taking in genetic materials from various worlds, they produce the next wave of Tyranid bioforms. Their reproduction is done asexually, and the genetic materials are essential in this process, as is nutrient biomass. Without these, they will be unable to sequence the DNA needed to create the new bioforms. Once a new bioform has been sequenced and engineered, this is then shared with the collective hive mind, and any of the Norn Queens of any fleet can reproduce their own. The way they create these bioforms is numerous and not limited to one specific method. They can create tiny larvae, eggs, some are born fully matured, and some are formed within amniotic sacs. All of the various methods are meant to ensure that the Norn Queen is able to produce as many bioforms as quickly and as efficiently as possible, keeping the ranks of the Tyranids heavily stocked with warriors or workers, perpetuating the hive even further into its evolutionary peak. Having said that though, the Norn Queens will near constantly debate with one another, arguing through the hive mind on how to better create and adapt the new wave of Tyranid Swarm. Along with creating new Tyranid bioforms, they are also constantly creating bioweapons for their swarms to use, and even starships. This is all done by retooling the consumed biomass from a planet they had most recently conquered. The Norn Queen is but one part of the ever-growing mass that is the Tyranid Swarm. I hope I've done the Norn Queen justice, I tried to go as in-depth as I could here. But as always, I'm keen to hear your thoughts on the Norn Queen. So please, drop them down below in the comments section, and moving forwards for all your Warhammer 40k content, stick with me, Mr. H. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay notified of all my future content. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like as it does help the channel out. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.